Hi everybody, I'm Diana from Sew Outside the Box and this week we're sewing a soup bowl cozy. It's still soup weather for most of us, but if you're like me, it's soup weather all year round. Grab the pattern from the description down below and let's get sewing. I use this pattern to cut my fabrics and the batting, and you can find this pattern in the description. And I like this pattern for a few reasons. The first one is you can print it on one sheet of paper because of this handy cut on fold line. Two, the QR code is right on the pattern. It will take you to the video tutorial, so if you wanted to print the pattern and then come back later, you can just use your phone's camera to access the video tutorial. Three, this pattern also has the dart lines marked on it, so it's gonna make it really easy when it's time to sew all the darts. I also like this pattern because it has the rounded corners, and I just like this rounded look better than the pointed corners. If you don't wanna print the pattern, you would just use 10 by 10 fabric squares. So in order to just use your fabric in the pattern, you would just fold over your fabric, and then, oh, that's not quite enough of a fold. And then you'll place the pattern so that your fold line is right at the edge. And then you can just go ahead and trim around. I use my rotary cutter to cut everything, but you could put the pins in and then use your scissors to cut around it. So I've cut my fabrics and the cotton batting. I've put one piece of fabric with a cotton batting and I've put the other piece of fabric with the other cotton batting. And there's not really a right side or a wrong side because the soup bowl cozy is totally reversible. The first thing I'm going to do is put an X. I'm gonna sew an X on each of the pieces. I'll set this one aside. I wanna show you this cute little trick that you can use if you have a cutting mat. You can see here there is diagonal lines on your cutting mat and these are very useful. What I'm going to do is make sure that my um, fabric piece is straight up against one of these lines here and then I'm going to use this line to cut through the diagonal. And it's just a handy way of making sure everything's lined up. I bring my ruler in and I just line my ruler up with that same diagonal line on my cutting board. And then I'll use my chalk pencil just to draw a line. There, and that was super easy and you can see it's all in line. It's just a great way to work more quickly. And utilize your cutting mat. And I'll do it again. I just line that up. And now I'll take it to the machine and I'll sew along the X's. Make sure that you do this to the other piece as well. Whatever we do to one piece, we're also going to do to the other. So I take my pattern and I put it back on top of my fabric and then I just lift the paper and I just make a mark with my chalk pencil. And the mark is actually just one inch from the edge and then two inches down. And I could have used my ruler for that, but just lifting the paper and making the marks makes it so much easier. Then I remove my paper and I use my small ruler just to connect the dots. The bowl cozy needs four darts to give it its shape, so I'm just gonna make the other two darts right now. And you can see the dart only shows up on one side, but that's okay, I'm gonna sew along those lines. And I'll just do the exact same thing. I'll just bring my pattern back, and I'll just make the mark, lift the paper, and make the mark where the line is. And now I'm gonna sew all four darts. I have four darts to sew on this, and the darts are what gives the bowl its bowl shape. I'm gonna to remember to do a back stitch here at the very end of the dart, which is not something you would normally do with a dart, but on a soup bowl cozy, definitely. So I'll back stitch here at the end of each of the four darts. I have two darts sewn and I remember to backstitch at the end of each dart and then I'm going to refold 
it's a little bit more awkward because you already have two darts sewn in, but I'm just going to line up my corners, turn this way, and I can see the other dart marks that I've made and I'll continue sewing the other two darts. Okay, I've sewn all the darts and now I'm just gonna trim the dart seam allowance down just to reduce some of the bulk and I'll use my rotary cutter for that. And I'll just trim it down to about a quarter of an inch. I don't really need a ruler. I just go around and trim, refold, There we go, and we've taken out some of the bulk there, and now we'll put our pieces together. I've already trimmed this side, so go ahead and put one side inside out, and we're gonna put right sides together into each other, and then line up the seams, and I'll clip it. I'm gonna sew both of these bowl pieces together, I need to leave an opening so that I can turn it right side out. Okay, I'm gonna start sewing here and then I'm gonna sew all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance and then I'm gonna stop right when I get past this seam here and then I think I'll have a pretty good opening right here. And remember to backstitch at the beginning and the end so that you have a nice strong seam for there's gonna be stress when you're turning this big bulky piece. And before I turn it right side out, I'm just gonna use my small scissors just to put in a couple snips close to this bulky seam to make it easier for the fabric to spread out when it's turning. And if you wanted to, you could put one in the corner too, but this is not entirely necessary. It's not a very sharp turn. Okay, once you get it right side out, go ahead and push out all the corners. They're easy to push out because they're rounded. And then I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna press all my seams on both sides. And I'm gonna keep my little opening tucked in. I'm gonna press that nice and flat also. And now to finish the whole thing off, I'm gonna go around the edge with a top stitch and that will close up the opening and we'll be done. Okay, here we are at the finished product, a totally reversible soup bowl cozy. These make great gifts and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week with another great sewing project. Please remember to like and subscribe.